item. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And I and collect old owner signs, you know, and yeah. just anything. Is anything. there anything you're still looking for that's been elusive? Well, something I don't have, I guess. Yeah, but you don't you have anything that's... No, uh, no. Yeah. Well, there's one thing. Uh, one, one of the collectors has a... Uh, um, a um, a submarine, uh, uh, the, 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 it's in the shape of a submarine with a harmonic in it. I'd like to find one of those, and he's got the only one that I've ever seen. I have a battleship, but I don't have a... Uh, okay. Who made that, I wonder? Koch, or as the Germans say, Koch. Yeah, and that, that's probably not in business anymore, so... Oh, no, no, they went out of business yeah. in the early 1900s. Honer bought them out. Oh, oh okay, yeah. well, they're, they're are rare, then, I, am, I yeah. imagine. But there's some interesting things. This is uh, this is old. This is uh, this is from Koch also, and uh, what it is, it's it's a wind spiel they call it. So you put this on your house. It has harmonica reads in it. You see harmonica reads. I do. And I so do. as the, as this would turn and wind blow, you you know you. I can't blow hard yeah, enough. Though. Yeah, no, I, I understand. But the, the wind would go in. Well, let me look at it real close. Like oh, that. that that's amazing. Oh wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Did Where do you get that from? I found that, I think, in Maryland, and I think it was in an old antique shop. It's uh -huh. in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's from the early, early 1900s. But for being an outdoor um, yeah. artifact, it's in good shape. Oh yeah. my gosh, I love your cardboard. And then the, this, this is a harmonica. This plays with, oh. I'm, I'm restoring these right now, but this, this, play, this has reeds and... Um, Anyway, it's, it's, there it is, see. It's got reeds in it, and you have a card that slips in here, and you, you, you advance the card like this while you're blowing and drawing, and, and it plays a harmonica. The trumpet harmonica, well. Yeah, and these also, well. these are also harmonicas. So these are harmonica reeds, so I collect anything with reeds, mm. as you can see. And, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Do they make those anymore? With no, they, these are these are from the early, yeah, early yeah. 1900s. This is one here, the Zauber float. You would have the sheet of music on this, and then you would blow and play the horns accordingly. Harlan, is there anything, or has there ever been anything made to, you know, like if you're in marching band, like with the clarinet, you have the little thing that hooks on the instrument and you can march and the music sure. is there. It, what is there for harmonica? Anything like that that you can, uh, you can march well, with? Well, I've seen some things like that, but I don't think there was anything that was uh, that was made specifically for that. Not I can't recall. That. So. And, and I can't imagine how you would design anything. Yeah. This is Honer. Well, it, 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 it says Honer on it, uh, or in it, but there was a, a company that made these for a lot of the, a lot of the different harmonica manufacturers. Mm -hmm. They didn't make them mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. They make them and made them in random. Name, put their name this is interesting. I saw this in a, in a, in a display case somewhere, in Indiana or Ohio or someplace. Like that. What the hell is that? And I picked it up, and by golly, it's a harmonica. Is it that wild? Is it a, a handmade by a? Oh, I've seen a few of them since, since then. So it must have been, it must have been made as a toy and sold. You know. I I wonder uh, if they ever sold kits of any kind. No, I no, don't think like so. you can no. buy pen kits and design. Then I've got pen. I've got a saxophone, and a clarinet that play these rolls. You got rolls of me like an old Romanica, like an old uh, piano with the rolls yes, in it. Yes, yes, so yes. So you put the rolls in here, and you and you blow and you draw as, as you advance the. Uh, there's a crank on it as you advance the roll. I, I, did you demonstrate that at I spa have. last year? It seems yeah, like I, I remember have. seeing yeah. that. Yeah. And then these are all these these things are old recorders, you know, like well, you, they've got harmonica reeds in them, so you know, modern recorders, uh, or these were the uh, the start of that. No. Well, I, I don't think it's anything here that I've ever seen before. No, some of we'll this stuff is again. pretty odd. And then I've got some some people who visited with me. Stan Musial visited with me, and I got okay, his signature on that and that uh, and that. 
Oh. I see Stan over there. He, he's a harmonica player. Mm -hmm. So he and he was there. Hmm. And the last guy that visited me was Ozzy Osbourne. Hmm. <sighs> Boy, what a character. Wow. So he signed that record for me and he signed the, uh, he's got a, he sell, owner sells a harmonica with his name on it and a, with a, with a uh, casket. <laughs> Oh, well, that's, well, that's yeah, all. It's Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do they still yeah. sell that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's... I'm going to have to look for that. It's yeah. a little bit gruesome, but is it a fairly good harmonica? <laughs> yes, I mean, it's, it's a good... Owner, so, I mean, it it's a nice harmonica. A yeah, yeah. Than... yeah. So that's pretty much what's in here, and then mm -hmm. just all my... Uh, this is my catalogs, my research, and mm. whoever... All, ever, you you know. are researching harmonicas? Yeah. Yeah. Harmonicas, harmonica players. Have so. you ever written an article for the um, the quarterly, the Spa Quarterly magazine? Yeah. Yeah, I've written a couple. In fact, I'm going to do more of it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I bet they. I bet they like that. Yeah, I've done a few. I I can't remember. This one has one of my. I've written uh, three or four articles for them, but I can't remember. Uh, I did a lot of research and, and, and helped uh, Manfred Moores, who was a close friend of mine who passed away not too long ago, and he was uh, very active at Spa, and he was a beautiful writer, and I'm not. Well, not a very good writer, so I, I tend to wander. You, you teamed up with him, I guess. Yeah, I, I got him information, and mm -hmm. I keep all of the ones from uh, Manford. He was a special friend. He's up in Canada. Mm -hmm. He passed away, and I was so sad. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um, what are you researching now with harmonica? Anything? Uh, well, um, yes and no. Uh, well, what's going on? These are empty boxes that I'm searching for harmonicas to fill. Uh, oh well, but uh, but everywhere you look, there's something interesting to the eye. Oh yeah. my gosh, look at that! Is yeah. that oh that is amazing. Yeah, these look are all that. toys, harmonica. Oh. Here's a Jimmy Carter. Oh, for heaven's <laughs> sakes, yeah. Corn, cob, and these are all toy harmonicas, but they're harmonicas. Well, know? and they're from an era. I mean, yeah, they, they are. Um, yeah, certainly collectible. Yeah, mm. and. Uh, and we can just go around, I guess. And yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've been buying old ones I come across them too, Harlan. Mm -hmm. I, I doubt I, I, I can show you what I have sometime. I doubt I have anything you haven't seen. These are these are mostly uh, German World War II mm -hmm. and World War I. You see, I have some Nazi harmonicas. And mm -hmm. and the, the ones with the Iron Cross are World War II, World War I. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I've got this one. Uh, I can take this out. This one here is very interesting. This is Boris of Bulgaria. So I'm, I'm, a, I do, I'm more of a historian. I don't play worth a darn. So I'm more of a historian. Well, I then guess. how did you get interested in harmonicas per se then? If you don't my, my grandfather left me about five or six. I think you said that. I think I remember that now. Yeah, but that's this one here, Boris, oh. Boris III of Bulgaria went up to Germany to see Hitler. Shortly after that, he got sick and disappeared. And this... <laughs> Because he wouldn't go along with what Hitler wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and this yeah. is a, this is a Honer harmonica from the early 30s that was made uh, in it's in Bulgarian. Who who knows what it says? Mm -hmm. So I pretty forgot. pretty much Honer made harmonicas for yeah, yeah, different uh, yeah. yeah different re yeah. requests for yeah. them I guess. And there's some Nazi ones and somebody said, well, why are you keeping those? I said, don't. Don't throw stuff away. People forget history when you start throwing things yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, no. But they, most of them are World War, uh, World War uh, One. Uh, this is a World War Two. There's a picture of a, one of their cannons, and this one is Japanese, the warship. Mm. But uh, oh, that that is just amazing. I mean, I. You know, we antique all the time, and I don't know that I've ever and seen I, I, I restore boxes. I'll show you that later. I, I do a lot mm. of restoration and stuff. Mm. And the harmonica's in the cane, you know, so. No. no. <laughs> my so, gosh. Where did you find that? Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. But I've got a number of them. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I would never have thought. Some of them have harmonicas, and some of them 
uh, or, or just Nick Kane's and th that I got from family members or so. Mm -hmm. This one here, I'm telling you what, if you want to, if you want to take a weapon along to, to pop somebody if they try to anything, this thing is. Oh yeah, it's just like. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's metal. It's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, that, that would be a uh, friend of mine made this. I thought it was handmade. Yeah, he sells them, and uh, got a harmonica in there and three strings, and uh, this has got a harmonica in it. This is very old. So, what happened to the plug that was in there? Hmm. This is a, this is not a harmonica, but I just. Oh, you whistle? Yeah. Was, all right, all right. Yeah. Oh, you can. Like a flute or something. Yeah. 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 That's a good sound. Yeah. I yeah. wonder what kind of wood it is. I don't know. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I, uh, I'm searching some stuff right now, but. I I, yeah, I, I like ah. it. Did you get a picture of this? This is good. This would make a good uh, a card. Yeah. Uh, what's the solution to that problem? To... There is no solution. <laughs> you just keep collecting until you can't collect anymore. Oh, my personal. I have oh, my camera good. upstairs, so I'll let you take everything. Oh, my word. Hey, Rob, oh, get it if you that, No, that's fine. This is beautiful. Oh. This is Babe's, magic, magic, uh, Babe's Musical Bat. They were given out or sold in the 1937 at uh, Yankee Stadium. Oh, yes. You see Babe's musical bat on her? Yeah. Now, why, what is, does he have any connection? Like No, it was just a giveaway. Just, a, just uh, something that they yeah. thought people yeah. would like? Just a giveaway. And these are just things that, cigars, they put them in, you know, got little cigars. <laughs> oh my Here's one that's got a, like, you'd buy a cigar tube and inside's a harmonica with a cigar. And uh, and just just a lot of little nicky knack stuff that I like and honer cards. These are these are to carry your matches. It's a honer gadget, oh. but you put your oh. matches in there so safety matches, you know, yeah. so you, you wouldn't. Uh, and, uh, oh, and then the earrings. Uh, it's just too funny. Yeah. So there's all sorts of things. A little kids' toy, you know. You got a harmonica, and you got a. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, and kids' toys. A lot of these were children's oh. toys, most of them. And, uh, you know, little harmonicas with little, you know. I got big versions of these. So. What's that mm -hmm. thing? That's a harmonica. It's yeah. a it's a ten hole harmonica. It's oh. a it's a ten hole. With a yeah. megaphone or yeah. like a megaphone yeah. on it. Yeah. Hmm. There's I got some that are huge and. Does has the market for these kinds of things held pretty steady? Uh, well, actually, it's uh, the, a lot of it's going down in price, and and the reason for that is, is because the five largest uh, collectors, myself and four or five other guys, just aren't buying as much, and so we have them all. You know, I've got fifty six hundred and something harmonicas, you know, and uh, and some of the other collectors have in the three and four thousand range. Mm -hmm. But I have maybe 2,000 harmonicas that the museum in Germany, which has 40,000 unique harmonicas, doesn't have. I've got a lot of them they don't have. Well, so the market for those was yeah. still be there. And that, you know, yeah, this is an old display case from, uh, you know, a harmonica uh, oh. or from a music store. And, uh, and Messner was, uh, was, is an older, old, much older than Honer. Is that German too, Messner? Yes, Messner is German, yes, yeah. And... Uh, I took my wife's little thing and oh. put this in. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. that. This, I got, I got a, this was a guy that was a, uh, uh, one of the early uh, uh, guys from, um, uh, from a Spa. And this is the Zach Award and, uh, from 1988. And he was, uh, I guess, a past president. And I found this in the antique shop. Oh. That's something. Oh. I think it's incredible. It's the oh my gosh. Spa West Harmonica Award President Gordon Mitchell for his uh, advancement of the harmonica of oh. May 1988. Oh, hmm. my Pretty word. Cool. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. Well, I bet there aren't many of those out That's there. That's the only one. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. they only would, get one award wouldn't. like that. Well, well, I know, but I wonder if they made and put different names on oh, for several years. Yeah. 
but there, there yeah. wouldn't be many of those. There's an old harmonic. You, you know harmonic. You've seen har modern ones. There's a. Yes. There's yeah. an old one. Oh yeah. yeah. And then every drawer is full. I mean, oh. literally. You can. Uh, these are these are interesting because they're sets. And, uh, for instance, and. There's a, it'd be a set of harmonicas in different keys. Keys, yeah. Yeah, and and these are all octave. Uh, they're not they're not tremolos and they're not uh, uh, mm -hmm. chromatic or diatonic. They're so they're they're not diatonic. No, they're well they are diatonic, but they're called octave harmonicas because they oh. play at octave notes. Okay. Yeah, and then then there's a, the other sets you know that that have. Well, they'll have a bass harmonica, a melody in G and C, and then and then a chord, a small chord harmonica. So if there's four card chords. This is made by Spronger and. The, uh, do they still make them? No. No, because I, you know, the bass I play is big and heavy. And four, four notes. Yeah. That's it. Oh, they have beautiful sound though. Yeah. And I've got a lot of, as you can see, I've got a lot of sets, a lot of sets for those. So, you have to do anything, and do they pretty well stay maintained? The humidity and all that kind of stuff uh, isn't a, an issue with no. preservation? Uh, well, it is, and I, I do, jeez, I don't want oh, it's like there, a puzzle. I forgot, yeah. Oops. I forgot it. <laughs> and then there's just... Manufacture after manufacture word. after manufacture, oh you know. Word. I've got uh, some interesting ones in, uh, let's see. These are ones with metal cases. They're pretty interesting, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I've been doing inventory. I did each drawer has an inventory in it right now. So these are all metal cases, one for the Australian market, and this is Japanese, and, uh, mm. yeah. Mm. American Boy Scouts. So these, wow. yeah, these, these are you know, a lot of them in German. So. And they're probably all owners. No, no, they're, no, they're no. very so, few owners. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, this is the American Boy is a owner. Oh no, these are. This one is a Hots. Uh, uh, there's uh, Hots. There's uh, um, uh, there's uh, uh, Kessler. There's just some of them are Japanese. Um, they're they're all so the, this actually was made by a Japanese company. This was made by a Japanese company. Oh, yeah, there's there's okay. a, there's another one made by. So Japanese. it isn't like Honor made them for different world markets. No, no, oh, they're okay. made by these okay. are made by different manufacturers. Huh. Wonder how much demand there was in Japan. Oh, quite a bit. Is that right? Oh yeah, they have more they have more harmonica bands than we have by by hundreds. Today. Today. Oh my gosh, Harlan, where are where where are the most thriving groups in this country today? Well, I, the groups in terms of I, I guess I don't know what you mean by well, group. like our group, you know, is very active. You know, we we had, you know had the base. The well, the Kansas the City group folded. Yeah, and Chicago did. Yeah, I don't know about Chicago. They did. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, they're still going. The Tulsa group is strong. The, yeah, I figured they and, must be. Yeah, and there's some others. And this in Arizona too. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I think this. So this, these are interesting. These were given out as especially, for instance, you put your wife or your girlfriend's picture in there for a birthday present. And that's mm, an that's original nice. photograph. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Here, here's maybe you know some of your guys that were on the on a boating team, and that would be a present for them. So th those are th I really like this kind of stuff a lot. Oh, oh, I can see how whether you put a harmonic or not, you could just yeah. get pulled into the history of it. And these are just, they're, they're just drawers. If you'd like, just, you can just go by and open any drawer you want well, and take mean, pictures, you know. Yeah, that, yeah the, oh, this is not very amazing. interesting in the sense that, you know, it's just a bunch of harmonicas. But uh, the more interesting ones are out in the cases, I think. When did you start collecting? Uh, about, about 25 years ago, I guess. All of this within 25 years? Mm. Yeah. I well, I bought three collections. Mm. Oh, Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, three three different people. Oh, that's Their exciting. Their husband had passed away, and I bought three collections. I bet they were glad to uh, yeah. have somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good for you. This is an interesting one, the Pipe Poland. It was made in about 1914. It was a total failure. 
And I've seen them go for as much as $2,500. This one on the... Uh, no, the Pipolian right oh, down oh, there in the middle. Oh, I see the Pipolian, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh. Hmm. There's a set of songbirds. They're just diatonics. They're nothing special. Uh, but a lot of these are, 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 are very interesting. This one looks like it's made out of a toilet paper roll. Um, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. mandolin, I've got another one of those. Um, but some of them I have that are very old. This was made by... Uh, um, oh, shoot, I just forgot his name. I, I'm not doing good on names lately. This was made by... Uh, God damn it, he's an old-time guy. Um, John... Um, John and Fondy. John and Fondy was a was a member of uh, of, of uh, spa for years, and and a, and he built harmonicas too. And this is a a bass, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A, a, just a, a you know. Yeah. Well, it's not quite as heavy as. <laughs> no. But it's and it's it's oh, oh, limited and and it's. Oh, notes. oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It has a good feel. I mean. Yeah, it, he yeah. made he made nice stuff. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so not, well, if he like to make something like that, you buy what? What do you buy? What do you buy? Like he didn't mold the plastic. Yeah, he did. He, he, I don't know who molded the plastic for him, but he designed it and had the plastic molded. And then, and, oh my gosh! And, and yeah, he, he made a lot. That, of it. I call that serious. That looks like a Tiffany. It is. No, no. <laughs> it's a what? A Tiffany. So it looks like a Tiffany. Silver. Solid. I don't. I solid was, silver covers. I recognize the box color. Oh my gosh! I I had no idea. Now this must have been a special one year. I have another one. I have two of them. But uh, yeah, they're they they're very expensive. They they're in the five hundred dollar range usually. Well, it's all solid silver. You can see it's tarnishing a well, little bit. Well, it has a name behind it too, and it's 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 yeah. which gives you an idea of the quality. Yeah. You, or you assume that it's, it's a owner. Beautiful. Their homes. <clears throat> now, why would Tiffany do something like that? Oh, well, a lot of them did. A lot of companies did things like that. What year to, do, you, do you think? Oh, that was out? in the 50s, I think. The 50s. Yeah. <clears throat> this one, I just received this, and I, I'm repurposing this box. I haven't figured out how to. I'll show you. I make labels and stuff. But this is a this is a piece of glass. See that? Mm-hmm. And this is made by a company called Dorfold, probably around 1915. And it has harmonicas on two sides. Didn't play very well, but be careful. Looking at the ends yeah. of it. Yeah, it's magnificent. Oh, and it's heavy. Yeah, I don't want to drop that. It's yeah. heavy. It, 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 You're repurposing the box, you said? You yeah, I, I tried, it didn't come with a box, so I'm going to uh, look it up in the archives and my, my catalogs and all that and see if I can find a picture of the box. If not, I have a, a friend who... Um, and I'll show you later. Has, has has a lot of talent, and he'll make uh, he'll make some labels for me, and then I'll paste the label on here. Just you know, just to, to give it some sort of restore the yeah. original yeah. look. Well, that's amazing. You're taking such good care of everything. Yeah, and you, you, a lot of these with the. I just got this. This is pretty new, and uh, uh, MGM was a, a spinoff of another company. Right now, I can't remember what it is, but. It's a pretty unique harmonica. They they made harmonicas in all kinds of shapes and sizes, and and all that to get people's attention. As opposed, you know, a lot of them have these, mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the, these for 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 sound, you know, and, and you know you can, you know, you can get the wah wah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's being made today? That's like that. Nothing. Yeah, I didn't think so. Cause I there's some there, there, there there's some uh, some ones that come out once in a while. Honer comes out with something, uh, you know, a, a copy of an old time one, you know, for for just to sell. But mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. these are my giveaways for the kids. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, well, you can see what's in there, and some of the you know, but this this one here is uh, from the mid 1920s, and look at the condition of that. Is that incredible. I think it is. Maybe. It, it is, yes. Yeah. This box was made by a friend of mine in Germany. And uh, this is this is a one that was that was uh, sold or given out at the Hofbräuhaus in München, in Munich. I'm sorry for the German. 
from oh, Munich. Yeah, well, um, and, um, and oh, is it a Stein? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a Stein. And then this one, you got to, you're gonna have to. Let me see if I can set up, set it up for you. Oh, I think you had that at the. It's got a naked lady in it. I, you had that at the. Yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Her. yeah. Oh. It's got a naked lady in it. Yeah. And I have others with, with, with. Uh, less controversial pictures in it. But, and I have a lot of them that are made in, into, you know, into various other kinds of instruments and boomerangs. But that's kind of nice. And a friend of mine sold that to me from Germany. And then I have a lot of minis. Oh, word. Yeah, I have, I probably have the, just lots of minis. These are minis, Larry Adler, Leo Diamond, Ronald Chesney, mm -hmm. you know, Francis Dory, more, more of them. So, Irwin's a friend of mine. <laughs> Julia Dawson, yeah, Andre Boom, uh, Boomar. Those are all, and then more, just more of the same. These are ones that were this. This actually, oh. this one was take, <clears throat> not this one, but this guy uh, the, took this thing in outer space. So. Walter Schirra took this in, in outer space and uh, actually played it, and it was 1965. I was tracking that satellite, that he, or that, that uh, the Mercury, I was, I, was in the, I was working for Bendix Corporation. I was at a satellite tracking station in Ecuador where my daughter, when my daughter was born. And while these guys are flying around the the thing with Project Mercury and and, uh, and other Apollo and all that sort of stuff. My job as a as a shift supervisor was to track them, track the uh, satellites or the uh, uh, not the satellites but the uh, uh, capsules. Capsule. The capsules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are kind of special. That's an exciting time to be. Yeah, just a, a lot of a lot of extra ones. And then these <clears throat> these are store. They were put in storefronts, and I some of them I'll, I'll just turn it briefly. 